In this video, I am going to talk about managing products. The first thing you want to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. Look to the left at the navigation bar, click Instamember. Then you want to click on the Products tab. Once you've clicked on the Products tab, it will bring you to the Manage Products page. And for the sake of this training, I have added a sample product here. If you scroll over the product name with your mouse, you'll see a few different options. You'll see Edit, Protect Contents, Licensing, Regular slash Pay Button, Report, and Delete. So let's click on the actual product. Once you've opened up the product, you'll see those same options as a submenu where you can edit the product, protect contents, retrieve pay buttons, and your licensing options. The edit button is pretty self-explanatory. You would simply go in to edit your product. Protect contents page. You can protect pages, posts, local files, and Amazon S3 files. If you're protecting your pages, you do have the option of deciding when they expire, if they will expire at all. Again, remember if your Amazon S3 files are contained in a bucket, you will not be able to access them outside of Instamember. Your registration and payment links. This is pretty self-explanatory. You'll be able to pull individual payment URLs and buttons for your products. Gives you the payment URL. You can also choose your payment buttons. They're available in both orange and yellow. You can select an Add to Cart button, a Download Now button, or your Order Now button. HTML snippets and short codes are also available. Product licensing. If you would like to enable product licensing, you simply click on. Once you click on, a few other options will appear. Your usage per license. This is how many times a member can use a single license key in order to activate their product. License key prefix. What this means is that every license key generated for this product will begin with this prefix. You can leave it blank if you don't want to add a prefix. License key suffix. This means that all generated license keys for this product will end with this suffix. Again, if you don't want to add a suffix, leave it blank. License string length. This is just the total characters of the license key string. And then you can set the expiration date in days, months, years, and then to never expire. Once all of your information has been added, click Save and your license key will be created. 